Hello everyone, this is Tim from the Utah Education Network and I would like to uh, create a set of tutorials here that will uh, go over the process of creating flyout menus or drop down menus um, on graphical buttons. So in previous tutorials we've talked about using the spry widgets to create the whole navigation bar and the flyout menus all at once using just HTML, CSS and a little bit of JavaScript. Uh, in this tutorial, I'd like to replace this top nav here. Um, instead of having a set of text links across the top, I'm going to delete those out of there. Um, I want to um, put in their place a set of graphical buttons. And then, once I have those buttons created, I can come back and we're going to make um, drop down menus or flyout menus off of those. Now, um, there are a couple of extensions that I'd like you to install. So if you don't have these extensions, you're not in our online class, um, I'm going to pull up this website here and you can go uh, get copies of them. So here's the URL there across the top. Um, I'll read it out if you can't see it. If you're watching on YouTube, you might try to go to full screen and uh, to the HD version. That might show up a little bit better. Um, but the URL is my.uen.org forward slash myuen forward slash 46807 slash 7. Or um, I'll go back to the home page. It's a little simpler URL. You can see it shows up right here as well. So that this little link right across there um, is one that you, um, I'll zoom in on it. So there's the link right there. Whoop, that's not what I wanted to click. Okay, let me zoom back out. All right, so that at least will give you, um, get you to the home page. Once you're at my home page here, you can go to Dreamweaver. And at the top of my Dreamweaver page, there's a thing called Flyout Menus. That's a handout, it's a document. Um, and right under, that, right under that is the Flyout Menu Extensions. Uh, these extensions, I believe, they're also in this uh, sample root folder. Um, so you could download those. Now, once you have them downloaded, we need to install them. So let me just uh, sort of show you how that works. So unbeknownst to you, um, you got a little extra piece of software with Dreamweaver called the Extension Manager. And there's lots of extensions out there. I've got three of them here that are going to help us today. They have this, um, their file extension is MXP. And um, the MXP works on the uh, Mac or on a PC, doesn't matter. So I've already installed these first two. To install this um, last one, all I have to do is double click on it. Um, this is the extension manager opens up, and I just have to accept. And I get this little message that said, in order for the changes to take effect, you must close and restart Dreamweaver. All right, but I can see I've got I've got other I've got other extensions installed. Um, I've got there's some extensions here in Fireworks. Uh, and once I have an extension installed, if I click on it, uh, in the extension manager, it also get, it often gives me a little help of where this extension got installed. Um, so I can click on these and have a look and um, find out a little information about the extension if I have it installed. Okay. So I've installed those extensions. If you do want to look for more extensions yourself, you can click on this Exchange button. That will take you to the um, Adobe Exchange, and uh, you can find big lists, a big library of all of the extensions that are available. So I get those installed first. I'm done with that now. Um, you can close this and go back here. Now I need to just uh, quit Dreamweaver, and then I need to reopen Dreamweaver. Okay, so just restarting Dreamweaver there allows me to uh, allows these to get uh, these extensions to get installed all the way. Okay, so back in Dreamweaver here, and here is the page that we're working on. We're on this new layout um, page, and I've got this space here across the top. I would like to make some buttons for that. I'm going to make those in Fireworks, and then I'll bring them in to Dreamweaver. Once they're here in Dreamweaver, I can link them up to their respective pages that I want them to go to and um, uh, I can build some flyout menus and those three extensions that I installed uh, in the sample files there, the snap layer, the auto layer and the, um, I forgot what the last one was called but you saw all three of them. Uh, those three extensions are going to help me 
create the flyout menus when we get to that point. So first, I need to go over to Fireworks, and I'm just going to open up a new Fireworks document, and that'll be okay. And I want to just um, quickly here create a set of, whoops, not black, a set of navigation buttons. Let me just go back to Dreamweaver real quick. It's going to set on this gray background here. Uh, so I would like to uh, have my uh, color, one out of the canvas in uh, Fireworks, to match that. So it's uh, CCC. So that I just was checking that. So I go to Fireworks and set the canvas color to that same color, just a light gray. All right, so now I'm going to build um, this little navigation bar, and there's a couple different ways to do that in Fireworks. Um, I'm just going to uh, use a rectangle here. So I'm going to draw out a rectangle. Okay, so that's going to be just the start here of my navigation. I haven't, don't really have colors picked out, so I'll just go have a look. Um, at what this may these buttons might look like. So I think I want it to match up to this blue color back there. I need to find out what that color is so I can find it in the style sheet. I'm going to just copy that so I don't have to remember. Come back to fireworks and paste that in here. Okay, so I want these buttons to match that color. All right. And um to make this a little more interesting, I'm going to round off the corners. So this um, has rounded corners and a little thin black border on it. Um, so right now, that's what it's looking like, and that'll be um, fine for now. I'm going to make sure this is a soft rounded line. Okay, so now uh, I need to put a little text on. So uh, I'm just use the text tool here, and I think I'd like this text to be white. And let's type in a little bit here. So I'm going to say, well, the first one's going to be home. Okay, and uh, I'm going to use this first one to sort of set my sizes. So it needs to obviously be a little bigger. And I might need to change the font a little bit, but for now, um, I'm going to go to 100% here. Okay. Come on now, there we go. All right, just need to adjust my layout a bit. Okay, so that's going to be my first one, and um, maybe I put an extra space in there. I'm just going to take that space out. Okay, so that's the first one, and I want uh, that one to say home, and maybe I'm just going to check to see what it looks like with a little black border around it. Um, and maybe I want these to have uh, drop shadows as well to make it look nice. So I'm going to put a little drop shadow. And so this is kind of the reason why you would make these in uh, these graphical buttons in Fireworks, so you could add some of these other capabilities to it uh, to make it look a little nicer. Okay, so there's my first button, and um, I'm going to use that style. Um, for the other um, labels here. So I'm going to create it once and then I select that text box, copy and paste, and I get another one. So I'm going to just type in quick, um, double click on it. Oh, I've got the select behind tool, sorry. Okay, double click on it and I can now edit this text and it should pick up um, the same. There we go, assignments, and I'm going to copy and paste that one, move it over, and maybe this is going to be my um, calendars, and copy and paste that, and I'm not too worried about the line, the alignment right now, I'm going to let fireworks help me out with that, I just want to get the words down, so um, home, assignment, calendars, how about, we'll say about, uh, and we need a one for contact info, so I'm going to copy and paste again. So I'm just doing um, Control or Command C to copy, and Control or Command V is in Victor to paste. Um, okay. All right. So there are my um, main pieces. Uh, I'd like those to be uh, lined up about the same distance apart. 
I'd like some help with that from fireworks. So I'm just going to kind of drag them roughly into the positions I want them, especially these for this first and the last one. Okay, get those about the, the distance I want from the edge. Okay, and then I need to get all the text selected, so I can just use this panel over here. Um, I clicked on the top one over there, held down my shift key, clicked on the bottom one over my layer panel, and it selected all five pieces, and then I can let uh, fireworks help me. So modify, align, so I can align them to the top, um, so they are all now at the same level, okay? And when with that, I'm going to do modify, align, and distribute their widths. Okay, and so that will put them the same distance apart, and that was kind of what I was going for. All right, so that gets them the same distance apart. They're sitting on top of this rectangle, um, and I could eyeball that into the just using my arrow keys up and down, left and right, to get it in about the right spot. Okay, with that much done. Um, I think I will um, get rid of all this extra canvas that's around here. And the easiest way to do that is just to click on the canvas, come down and click Fit Canvas, and all that extra canvas goes away, uh, which is what I wanted. So uh, now, when I'm creating these buttons, it would be kind of neat if they had a rollover effect. So I'm going to create another version of these buttons, okay? And that second version is called State 2. So you can see down here, I just have one state. It's kind of like a film strip. This is the first frame of the film strip. I'm going to create a second frame um, of the film strip. And there's a whole tab to help me with these states up here across the top. So layers, states. You can see I have one state. That's this frame of the film strip. What I want to do is duplicate this frame or this state. And in the second copy, or state number two, I'm going to change what this looks like. Um, that will re I'll change I'll change the colors or something so that it looks like uh, a rollover. And the easiest way to duplicate that, a little menu across the top here that just says duplicate the state. And uh, I just want one one duplicate, and I can do it after the current state. That's fine. So you can see over here I've got two different states, and they're identical right now. I want to edit state two. So I'm going to click on state two. So I'm working in state two now. Um, if I go back to the layer panel, this is the copy. Okay, so this is state two. They're, they are separate from state one. So I'm just going to select all of my text because what I'd like to do is I'd just like it to be a different color. So I'm wondering what it would look like if it switched to um, black with a white border. Okay, so we can check out what this will look like just from switching from state one to state two. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. And if I want a little quicker view over here, I can use the states panel. There's state one and state two. Okay, now um, in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to cut this up so these act as individual buttons instead of one big button because that's all it is right now is one big button. So tune in to part two.